Alright everybody, welcome back to some more of Plants vs. Zombies 1. I was almost tempted to say 2, there, but obviously that's not the game we're playing. In the last episode we took care of all the day cycles of the pool. And now we're gonna go have some hot skinny dipping. Oh wait, there's zombies. Never mind. You, you, you can't do that. Mm. Everything's ruined! Zombies ruin everything. Mm. Uh, <sighs> I don't know. I don't really need the fume shroom. But, uh. <clears throat> I think about what to take. Still a bit sniffly, but I'll be fine. Mm, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, plus it's night. There's the annoying gimmick that there's fog. <sighs> also being night, we're kinda in the dark. <coughs> Hating that screw think be a little bit harder than usual. Plus you can't see the zombies in the fog. But they're there. They're there somewhere. Gotta be careful. You can see them coming out of the fog. It's oh god, it's like the children of the corn except with zombies and darkness. So it's <coughs> kinda similar. You can see some of the zombies throughout the fog, like the upper areas, but <coughs> yeah. That doesn't make it any easier. Thankfully, you can see your plants a little bit in the dark. Well, not very much. idea is just to spam as much as you can of whatever you can. Brains. Oh, something definitely got annihilated over there. <laughs> Brains. Go ahead. I just see one of those guys. There you go. Uh oh. Where is it? Well, that slowed it down somewhat. Yeah, yeah, those jack-in-the-box zombies, uh, they ex explode if they get too close. They're kind of annoying. I dare say they are quite the pain in my posterior. that sound
Jump nowhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, that was easy. Hello, friend. Alright, we get something new. The Plantern. Lights up an area, letting you see through fog. It's an okay plant. It's good for being able to see through those pesky dark spots. How much money do I have now? Should I have some? Yes, I have money to actually buy something. Twin sunflowers. Yay! <clears throat> Special plant. Twin sunflower gives you twice as much sun as a sunflower, but you have to first have a sunflower, and then you'll have to sacrifice another slot. But then you can use this to plant on top of that to get double sunflower. Eh. Uh, it's a good idea, but set in stone, boys. Yeah. Do 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 think 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 okay. Do I really need tangled kelp? No, and the zombies look like they have conads while they are Yeah. Might as well just take this just to demonstrate otherwise. I won't be really using this plant that very often. Oh yeah. Thing with the fog in some levels. <coughs> <laughs> the fog uh, kind of rolls over a little bit further. So yeah, that might be bad at some points. Are coming. Uh, yeah, with the fog you never know when the zombies start spawning. Until uh, you see one of your guys. That's why it's good to have like uh, your plants in the visible spots of the of the fog. That way you can know when to start planting out stuff. Otherwise, you'll be kind of in the dark. Obviously. Just so you can know where your enemies are going to start spawning at. Oops. Also, the thing with the lantern, you need to have it close. As close as you can to... To the edge there, otherwise... It's not going to be worth anything. Having it so far away. And there you go, that's how a plantern works. It has kind of a small range of illumination, though. So don't expect much. That money, thank you. Thank you, Santa. There are probably better spots for these, but I like to be yes. able to see just a tiny bit. If at all anything. Oh. Uh, I should have really put that on. <laughs> on. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Invisible, so that one. Or offline mode. Or I'm forgetful. I just really felt like recording, but I just forget stuff. So easy. Wouldn't be an episode here without a derp or two. And I don't really need much sun. Other than the fact for her cherry bombs. Yeah. 
situation here. Don't ordinarily do that, but just so I can see what I'm dealing with here. Oh man, that walnut is in bad shape. Ouch. Oh, that lantern's not going to last. Provided I get enough time for the walnuts to recharge. On the seed pack, it's like I can make more. There we go. Ah! Oh, oh, the irony. Of course I would have. Uh, of course I would have needed it. Oh, oh, 
hey! Alright, new plant. Something I expected I should have gotten much earlier. The cactus! Shoot spikes that can pop balloons! Alrighty. That's actually gonna be more useful than you think. Considering we have a balloon zombie now. Yeah. Those guys will fly over plants. Except wall. Except tall nuts, I'm pretty sure. They can't go over tall nuts. But cactuses will be able to pop their balloons, which is pretty good. But <coughs> we'll see how that plant works out on another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, folks. Tune in next time for we shall take on more pool levels at night. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.